Welcome back to GRTB News, the numbers edition, because we have seen a lot of financial reports this week. First of all, Bioware has announced that Dragon Age Origins have sold in 3 million copies worldwide. And Mass Effect is well over 2 million by now and is topping the charts all over the place. And EA, in their financial report, said that both Mass Effect and Dragon Age will be getting something uh, at the end of the, their financial year 2011, which means sometime between January and April next year. We'll just have to wait and see exactly what it's gonna, going to be. But until then, we at least have Dragon Age Awakening, which is uh, releasing in March. Last week, a couple of Ubisoft community developers wrote on Twitter that this week we could expect a big announcement for the company. That turned out to be the announcement of Ghost Recon Future Soldier, a game presumably about soldiers in the future. The game is slated for release uh, towards the end of the year, but if you want to get into the multiplayer beta, you would just have to uh, follow the typical uh, marketing uh, scheme and buy yourself a dedicated spot in the beta by buying um, Splinter Cell Conviction, which is released this spring. Now, some numbers from Ubisoft, because they have just announced that Assassin's Creed 2 has generated $678 million in revenue for the company and been sold in 8 million copies worldwide. At the same time, Ubisoft, we're talking about the next installment of the Assassin's Creed uh, saga, which will still follow Ezio as he goes to Rome to fight the Templars there. Uh, exactly if that is actually Assassin's Creed, Creed 3 or something completely different, we'll just have to wait and see. If you didn't play Miss Online Euro Lives back in the day, or if you didn't even know that there was a MMO called Mist Online, well, don't feel too guilty because not a lot of people did. Anyway, the fans of the game, together with some of the original programmers, have brought the game back and it's now available for download and play completely free. Even though the new masters of, uh, of the game are accepting PayPal donations. At the moment we're filming this, uh, the servers were completely hammered by people, so I'd wait a couple of weeks, but check it out. As most of us know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 broke all kinds of sales records last year. And even though there is a Call of Duty coming out this year as well, Activision don't expect to make that much money again. That doesn't mean they're not expecting to make a lot of money. So they're having a new Guitar Hero game, big surprise, a new DJ Hero game, not really a big surprise, and another Tony Hawk game, huge surprise there, that will still use the Tony Hawk ride board. More big surprises. We just love big surprises here at GeoTV News. Since they've already done the original films and that other film trilogy, which we just want to forget, TT Games have announced that their next LEGO Star Wars game is in production. This time it will be based on The Clone Wars, uh, the movie and the uh, television series. And you'll be able to play as characters from the old films, the new films, uh, Clone Wars series. Yeah, you know the drill by now. The game is slated for release later this year. And finally, we have another huge surprise for you guys. Uh, there is no secret that Sony has a lot of high hopes for modern nation racers, just like they did for um, Little Bit Planet. And uh, Modern Nation Racers uh, has now been announced for the PlayStation Portable. I don't know what else to say, but we kind of knew that would happen anyway. This week, we decided to call up our dear German editor, Christian. How are you doing, Christian? Hey, uh, we're doing fine. Oh, I'm doing fine. Uh, just freezing my uh, ass off in Germany since we're not used to... Uh winter that is longer than a few days and it's been a few weeks now well we we know that feeling here as well uh, what did you think was the most important piece of news this week the most important news well the, the most irritating one really was that 
both Activision and EA announced uh, big losses, even though they made um, a lot of money having great uh, franchises running, like uh, Modern Warfare 2 and FIFA 10. They both made them a lot of money, but still they uh, still they they lost a lot, and I don't really uh, I don't really understand why. Speaking about Activision, though, they, they, they've said that they're going to use the Tony Hawk ride board again. Do you have any ideas for how they should use them? Well, Activision, Tony Hawk ride, I have to say I hated Tony Hawk ride being a skateboarder myself. It was a really, really bad transition uh, of the idea of skateboarding on a console. So my suggestion would be to uh, just don't do another game, really. Uh, just leave it, do something else. You evil, evil man. Anyway, the last question for you. Uh, Ubisoft have said that they're going to uh, do another game about Ezio uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed, probably Assassin's Creed 3. Is there any particular time or uh, setting that you would like to see uh, an Assassin's Creed game in? Assassin's Creed, I wish they would take this science fiction idea a lot further than they did in the uh, in the series as of yet uh, they they ended with it and I since I, l I love Philip K Dick and his ideas of double reality worlds and um, why not use this and make make more of a Blade Runnerish kind of Assassin's Creed I, I'd really love to see that perfect thank you very thank you very much Christian take care down there hope you don't snow in too much like we've more or less done here. That's all the news we had for you this week, but uh, I hope to see you again next week. So until then, take care.